What's up everybody, it's Neil here with Nexus 7 Soft Modder. Today I'm going to show you how to root your Nexus 7 running 4.4 KitKat and above. So currently I'm running 4.4.2 and uh, first things first when rooting we're going to go in to our developer options. Don't worry if you're not a developer just go to, sorry, if you're not a developer just go into about tablet and just tap your build number and then you'll see down here no need you're now a developer then you're gonna go into developer options and you're gonna enable USB debugging so I'm enabling it okay so um, now let's show you what you need to get started on your actual desktop alright so we're here on my desktop and there's a uh, mainly one awesome thing that you'll need and it's the uh, Wugfresh Nexus Root Toolkit and uh, basically, you're just gonna go install this into your computer and run it. It basically does everything you need and makes rooting extremely easy and uh, not so much of a headache and intimidating as it is. So um, I already have it. I've installed it. I'm running it. So let's um, let's just open it up. So here we go. Alright, so the first thing you want to do, and what it's going to ask you, is to select your device. So mine is a Nexus 7 version 2, and it's a Wi-Fi. And then you're going to select the build. If you don't know the build, just hit any build, and it should work just fine. So I'm applying those changes right now, and the toolkit will come right back up. Okay, so first step, initial setup. Just uh, and go through the full driver installation. My drivers are already installed. Um, if you have drivers already installed, it will show you how to remove them and update them. If you've never done this before, it's even easier and it basically just does everything for you. You're just going to click this, then you're just going to run through the easy one, two, three steps. Probably just two steps if you, if you don't even have the drivers installed. So mine already installed, so that's the first thing. Then we're gonna need to unlock our device. So just hit unlock, and it's gonna let you know. Oh, sorry, make sure you've backed up your device. I mean, if you don't wanna start clean, then I suggest backing it up for sure, because when you unlock, it will wipe your device. So like it says right here, make sure that you make a backup first. So yes I understand everything it's gonna wipe it okay in order to unlock alright so now we're getting ready to unlock our device it's doing its magic it's rebooting into fast boot mode sorry bootloader mode there you go so you know it's communicating and you know that it's working alright so my device has restarted and I'm basically now ready to root. Um, I would suggest adding a custom recovery. If you're not into that, then just don't check it, but it's super convenient. With the root, you already have it in the same option, just root and add the custom recovery. So I'm going to go ahead and opt for that. And you just hit root. And it's just going to let you know what you're doing and everything. You're just going to hit, okay, I understand. And now let's watch it work its magic again. All right, so right now it's telling me this is the um, custom recovery option. So I'm just gonna go ahead and on my device press install on the uh, custom recovery screen right here. All right, so we're just gonna navigate to where it tells us. So All right, so now we're ready. We ran through the prompts. We did what it asked, and now we're just gonna slide to confirm flash. Now, if you don't want a custom recovery, this will be a lot quicker. So we're done, gonna reboot system. All right, so we ran through everything, but now I'm sure you wanna verify that you're rooted, so let's check this out. So um, go into Google Play and download this application. It's called Root Checker, and basically all it does is it checks if you're rooted. All you can do is uh, verify root access, grant it, super user, let's see. All right, results, congratulations. This device has root access. So that's exactly what you wanna see. And now your device is rooted and you're ready to 
do a bunch of mods to it and have fun with it. So I hope this uh, guide was easy enough. I really suggest checking out the article. It's really detailed and I go over backing it up briefly and there's links and everything you need. So check out the, the full tutorial on Nexus 7 Softmodder. Subscribe, like, comment, and thanks for watching.